One of our most famous artefacts at Leeds City Museum is Nessie Armin, the Leeds mummy, who lived in ancient Egypt 3,000 years ago. The ancient Egyptians believed in an afterlife, life after death, and they thought to get to the afterlife, your body needed to be whole. So they carried out mummification, preserving the dead body. Over the next few weeks, I'll show you some of the processes of mummification using an apple, and you can also try it at home for yourself. What you will need today, a small apple, a cutlery knife like the one you use to eat dinner, a chopping board, a teaspoon, half a bag of salt, some bicarbonate of soda, a bowl, to make your salt mix, a plastic cup or bowl large enough for your apple, and a small pot or egg cup. Please ask to use these things at home and ask an adult to help you. Today we'll start to dry out our mummy. The Egyptians did this using natron, a natural salt. First, ask an adult to help you to cut the apple in half like this. Keep one half to become the mummy. Take out any pips by using the teaspoon and keep those because we'll use those later. So I've got some here. And then make a face in your apple skin side. So you need to put in some eyes, use the teaspoon to do this, and then scoop it out when you're doing it. Now here's one I've made earlier, so you can see what I mean. So it's got a proper face, two eyes and nose and a mouth. Next, pour your salt into your bowl and put in three to four spoonfuls of bicarbonate of soda and mix it round. And then, Put some spoonfuls of salt at the bottom of your pot where you're going to put your apple. Place your apple in the pot and then pour in some salt to cover right over the top of that apple. Make sure it's completely covered and you can't see it anywhere. And then put that somewhere dry, probably a windowsill or on a shelf somewhere where it can dry for two weeks, so 14 days. Now with your pips, you're going to save those two. So put a little bit of salt in the bottom of your egg cup, put your pips on top and make sure they're covered with salt too. We're going to leave them to dry for a week and we'll use them next week. 